It's Christmas time. I need to do some decorations. Let's go find where they're at. Let's get to it. There we go. That's better. Now we are showing our Christmas spirit. All right, so today I want to clean up around this place, but first we got to go water our uh, cattle. Oh man, I forgot to feed Buck. Got to go feed Buck first. Buck will be mad. Buck, you're the most important one. There we go, Buck. All right, so we're going to go water our cattle. I got big plans. Lots of big plans. We got a lot of stuff to do. Hold on, I'm coming to get you. Hopefully this old Massey Harris will start. There we go. Almost sounds like a lawnmower. Gotta take this nice and slow. Beep. Beep. Move it. Moo cows. And you guys go through a lot of water. You guys go through a serious amount of water here. Looks like we might have to go get another wagon full. Yep, gotta get another wagon. Gotta get another tank full for them. I do like the new use for this uh, tractor here. Sure works good on this water trailer. See, that sound sounds more like the tractor. This sounds like a lawnmower. That sounds like it should. At least I think so, Lee. I've never driven a Massey Harris 30. Finally, topped them off. So, feel like I've been hauling all the time here. All right, that job's done. So now I need to get this old international, start this old girl up. It's a 78 degrees today. It's a little hot, but almost perfect. So what are we gonna do today? We are gonna pick up all this junk. So I'm gonna plan on getting all this junk picked up around this farm. That way, I don't have to look at it anymore. Just like to clean this all up. All right, get that hooked up. This is a good junk trailer. One of the things we gotta do is saw down this old dead tree here. All right, to help saw that down, I'm gonna get the loader over here. Gotta put the bucket on. go got the bucket hooked up should help lift them uh, trees into our wagon oh man we got another dead tree over here These trees are dead all over the place We're gonna have to move that our harvester too man just so much to do so we all take this over I'm going to start picking up all this junk too off the side. Alright. There we go, start sawing this down. All right, so I'm gonna go take this load over to our uh, little spot here where we dump our crap, basically. Don't tell the neighbors, it might be on their land. I don't know for sure. Uh, maybe not. Dump it right over here. 
All right, so that's the last of it. All right, now we gotta get another load here. All right, so now we gotta get uh, these pieces out of here. I want to try to lift these out. All these pieces of junk. Get them put into our wagon here and get this nice and cleaned up. Yeah, man. That's a lot of pieces of wood. So we just took our last load of uh, crap, if you want to call it, away from our yard. So I got this all cleaned up along this uh, fence here. Got all that uh, pieces of wood, the junk over there, just crap all over the place. There's also crap right here. Uh, piles of wood, just random junk piles, a uh, few over here. I didn't get this over here. I kind of stacked this all up nicely as I could. Uh, there was some junk over here I got, so I got all that cleaned up. So now we need to haul these uh, cattle. First we got to wait for my cousin to show up so uh, while we're waiting we'll go put all of our stuff away. I need to move these trailers, move that truck, so we're going to tear this fence down. So I think I'll, I'll keep the tractor and all that over here, uh, use it to uh, put this down, but first we got to sell these cattle. So yeah, I guess we'll move these trailers right here. Start up our inner farm all here. There we go. Alright, so that trailer's hooked up. Uh, where am I going to put this? So I'm going to move this over here to the side somewhere. Out of the way. So when we're tearing down that fence, we got plenty of room. All right, got one more to go get here. Uh, where do I want to put this? Uh, I think I'll put this where I had the other John Deere at. Leave this right here. Now I'm going to start this uh, combine up and uh, start backing it into this other garage right here. Here we go. Back this up in there. Just so it's out of the elements. Woo, there comes my cousin. Driving like a maniac. What the heck? Did she get a new vehicle? My cousin sure knows how to pick out the vehicles. That is one sharp looking rig there. Even got a winch on front. That's a good looking uh, Bronco. I think that's one of the best looking Broncos out there. I'm going to have to unhook this big uh, gooseneck off this uh, truck here and hook up one of our goosenecks. Uh, so we can start hauling these cattle. I'll probably try to get it in right there if possible. Go, uh, I guess we will try. That eh, didn't start turning quick enough there. Ooh, barely missed that side there. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna hook the big trailer onto this, and I'll pull the other uh, cattle trailer with my truck. Cousin will drive this. That is one long trailer. So uh, I think I'll back this up for her, and then I'll go hook up to the other gooseneck with my truck. All right, so basically I had that trailer's axle was smelling hot. So I decided to park that trailer and I went to my neighbors and borrowed one of their cattle trailer to uh, help for today. All right, so we got some cattle loaded here. So now we will start heading towards the sales barn quickly. 
All right, I'm gonna follow my cousin. She isn't used to uh, pulling this big a load, so I'll follow her while she goes here. All in now. Hopefully she doesn't drive like she usually does. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Does the GMC keep up? Here we go. All right. Uh-oh. Hey, you're supposed to stop there. All right, let's try to catch back up. Man. That Cummins is really freaking pulling ahead of us. Look at that. Whew, we caught back up, finally. She does have a heavy lead foot. Doesn't stop for anything. Alright, I guess she's going to pull over there to the side there, quickly. I think I'm going to pull through here. Ooh, $16,000. Alright, I think I'll have to pull in the barn for her, so I'll stop right here. Alright, it's, it's a race this time. We're going to win. I don't know. Whew, she took that corner quick. Will we be able to catch up? Man, she flat out moves. Oh, yep, here we go. Are we gonna take her? Come on! There we go! We did it! Duramax! Duramax for the win! Not this time! Ooh, we better slow down or we're gonna get in trouble ourselves! Eat our dust, cousin! She's gaining on me again! Man! Had to slow down for them birds, and now she's almost on me. There she comes, turning in there. Man, my Christmas trees look good. All right, so we still have a few more loads. We'll get this hauled over quickly. Use this uh, loader tractor to pull out all these uh, fence posts. Got to put these down here, put a chain on this, and should pull these right out, hopefully. All right, so we got all this cleared out now. Looking pretty good, I think. I um, think I'm going to tear down this uh, water tower, too, here. Move this away. All right, so the water tower's gone now. I've uh, got these few trees over there. So, all this is nice and cleared out. Now I need to get my scraper over here and start scraping this off for my contractor to start building. Alright, got this uh, planer put on, so I'm going to try to scrape this all down for him. Works nicely on the back of this uh, old case. So we're pretty flat already, so you just got to scrape off this uh, grass here. Here we go. Keep going here. Scrape this all the way down and get this nice and cleared off. Alright. This might take a little while, but we'll keep scraping this all the way down that blade down and take off again oh yeah that sod is deep doesn't want to move all right got another scrape down so now we just gotta keep going might be a while got a snickers so I'm just going over on this side, evening this out, so we kind of got our whole area evened out that we need here. There we go. I think we're done with this. Now, we got to move over for our cattle barn here. 
level this out and then we can call for the contractor all right just scraping this away here and get this side done this should be our last little bit we have to do here all right so that is done for this we are ready to build Trying to let go of this heartache It's been following me around It wakes me up It shoots me down At this point I would rather be numb I'm sick and tired of emotions They've never done me any good Just tore me up into bits I wish I knew how to call it quits I should
changes when I really come alive. Mm, yeah. I don't know anybody that could compare to you. The way you're always smiling, the way you light up a room. I couldn't live without you, not even if I tried. 'Cause every day I'm with you, I'm flying over the clouds. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm flying over the clouds And I'm not coming down Every time we touch I feel at home There's no way I'd ever let you go When you put your hands in mine And I'm gonna be alright I don't know what you do to me But I feel like I am way up in the sky When you put your hands Okay, so that is our new building. So I've been wanting to expand to a major dairy operation for a while, and we really did. I mean, look at this giant building. It takes us a minute just to run across it. This thing is giant. So I think this will house 200 cattle, maybe more. So we could have a major horse team operation and then I plan on uh, all the calves this is where I will uh, I plan on raising the calves up over here in our little feedlot area so the calves will grow up over here and we'll sell them off once they get bigger and then uh, I have been looking forward to this for a while now and I'm really glad it all came together even got a uh, mound of poo in the middle here just like all feedlots do but thank you all for watching and i will see you later here in oregon thank you all for watching like comment and share and subscribe see you next time